you know, you want something like this. Something, something professional. An actual controller. Hey everyone, so if you've been lucky like me, you managed to get your hands on one of these little guys. And then you played it for a few years, got bored, and then you bought one of these! You just get it, it's the Nintendo Switch. It's fucking awesome. Seriously. Go get it. It's awesome. Now of course the Nintendo Switch comes with these little guys, and I, and I stress little, little, you know, little Joy-Cons. Which bring me so much joy. Seriously, go buy one. I mean, in my opinion, I think this is a whole hell of a lot better than what this had to offer. Like, you know, you got the HD rumble and you got... You got a, you got a controller condom. That's what you got. Hey, come on, you honestly, you, you gotta love the little noise that the Joy-Con makes when you slide it in there. Oh. Now, those little Joy-Cons are great and all, but when you're trying to get down and dirty with the other racers in Mario Kart, you don't want something that small in your hands. You want to wrap your hands around something big, something black, something firm. The Pro Controller. So now let's decide if this big black beauty is worth the status of the Pro Professional name. I don't know, they named it the Pro Controller. So let's see if it actually is the Pro Controller. Now right off the bat, this is one of the most comfortable, natural controllers I've ever held. Like, just fits in the hand, you know? Just, just fits. And I mean, it looks nice. The buttons are pretty pro. Buttons stick out nice. They do what they have to do. It's got great response. It makes really funny noises. And another thing that I like is they added an NFC reader on this on this little this little nipple thing right here. So I guess that means when you put an amiibo on here, uh, whatever game you're playing, it does amiibo-y things. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now because I'm playing Legend of Zelda. Uh, you know, I'm Link, handsome as shit, just standing in the rain. And I got, I got the little amiibo guy right here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I just figured out something. It's not on the little nipple. It's in the fucking middle of the controller. God damn. Ooh, a horse! Just riding a horse. Doing horsey things, just riding a horse. Hell yeah! Look at other horses. Here I am, joining my family. Now I don't know exactly how much this thing weighs, and I'm by no means calling it heavy. But damn, this thing is sturdy as hell. And from personal experience, I feel like it kind of helps with anger. Uh, maybe not suppresses it or makes you more angry, but it just kind of helps with it. Allow me to explain. Do you ever get so mad when you're playing a game that you can do nothing but just squeeze the shit out of your controller? Well, with the Pro Controller, for the Switch, I feel like it just helps a little bit. You know, there's no give. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Maybe it takes a little away from your anger, but in the end, it does feel so much better than any of uh, the fuck, any other controller that I've ever touched. Though it may not be as effective as it is in the Joy-Cons, the HD rumble that the Pro Controller offers is evident, and of course it does add that extra level to your uh, your uh, your game time when you play games on the TV or the Switch because, you know, hybrid mode and whatnot. I don't know what I just did there. But I guess I'm going to keep that in because I don't feel like saying that all over again. So, uh, on to the next thing. If I'm right, I've only had to charge this thing like a few times since I've gotten it. I've had it for like two months and I play with it regularly. Talking about the Switch controller. It's not be dirty. So now to the cons of the Pro Controller. But face it, there's more pros to the Pro Controller because if there weren't, it'd be a con controller controller controller. Wow. All right, so it's not really a surprise that this thing isn't as portable as this thing. Hey, like that was cool, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I wish I could just strap that to the Switch and, you know, take it with me. So yeah, it's not as portable. Uh, and, and come to think of it, it really hasn't left my living room. Um, but yeah, it's still a good controller. The portability, it's its there. You can, you can take it places. But it's just not as portable as this because of this little guy's ability to, to, to snap. To... And I guess another complaint I have about this controller is its look or just 
you know, lack of customization. I mean, it looks really neat, but it's just, it's dark. I mean, if you're playing in the dark, you can't really see anything at all. It doesn't light up, there's no backlight. Uh, I like the little translucent face it has. Like, you can see, like, the, um, like, the, 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 the fancy underneath of it. Uh, it's but yeah, I mean, I guess I just wish it came in different colors. You know, Xbox does it, PlayStation does it. Come the fuck on, Nintendo. I don't give a shit if I can get a pink Joy-Con. I like the Pro Controller more. So make this pink. Well, don't do pink. Do like, do red. Do, do something different. I don't, no, it's not pink. And lastly, yes, you guessed it. It's the price. You can get one of these little fuckers for only $80. Or is it 70 it's either, it's either $69.99 or $79. Either way, it's a lot of fucking money. But I mean, yeah, it's, that's it. It's the price, that's, that's pretty much my biggest complaint. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. So in my honest opinion, does it deserve the pro controller status? Yeah, thing is fucking awesome. So now that I've reached the end of this video, this is the part where I tell you to subscribe and stuff like that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Because, let's do it. I'm about to die, about to die. Look at me doing other horsey things. My name is Link, I'm a cool guy. Look at my horsey, I wish it had wings. Then I could fly through the sky. And kick Ganon's ass till he dies.